Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes and today it is once again a Lumicrate time. As I think I said last month, which my first Lumicrate box, I really appreciate that they tell you what the book is ahead of time, far ahead of time. They also tell you like, exactly what the items are in some cases, I believe. I have not looked at that for this month because I say I like surprises. Honestly, my brain is just full of holes and I will not remember. So I do not remember what any of the included fandoms are, I do not remember what any of the themes are for this month, but I do remember that the book is Voyage of the Damned, which is like a queer murder mystery vibe, and the second I found out what it was, I was obsessed. I know of Owlquit boxes, I tended to like hold back from buying the box, unless it was a book that I already knew I wanted and I was going to love. But this one, this is different. I feel like I very much trust Amina Crate's picks already, and I'm sold on this one. So let's open it up. Oh, here we are, straight away. We have the, th oh, the theme was murder mystery. I'm, I've got the spoilers out, and let's leave that there for reference. And we're just going to open up and see what we have. I'm seeing a lot of stuff straight away. I'll show you as well. It's just, it's just all out there. So there's, there's, oh, there's a library stamp. We're gonna, we're gonna go for the library stamp just because I see it straight away. Library stamp. Let's learn a little bit about it first. It's at the bottom of the thing on the list. It says, Eleanor West's library stamp. With artwork inspired by the Wayward Children series, this adorable stamp is ideal for marking your book collection. Let's have a look. I really want a, like a personalised library stamp so I can like claim all these books as officially mine. I know it would somehow end up annoying me and I'd give up on it, but just a thought that counts, you know? Property of Eleanor West. It's. I'm confused. Am I like missing a part somewhere? I am missing a part. That's why I was looking at it. It's like it's completely plain. There's no design there, and I was. I'm glad. The actual design is in this little bit here, and it's. You can kind of see there. Can I do like the whole YouTuber thing? I'm holding the wrong hand for a start. It just says from the library of, and there's a little line underneath where you, I guess you can write your name under. Okay, I guess it's sticky. It's kind of like stuck onto this bit of plastic here. I'm just, I'm not going to play that too much now. I also need to get like an ink pad that's this size. That is going to be so cute. And maybe I don't need a personal ones to myself. I love this. This is fun. I also love this class thinking recently about all the items I've got in my book boxes over the years that just sit on my shelf because I have no actual functional purpose for them. There's a lot of decorative items that I do love. I think they're great. But in terms of someone who's like trying to declutter their life deeply, what do I do with them? And this one is practical for me specifically. I love it. Next we have an enamel phone grip and I am a pop socket girly. So again, love this and I am on the hunt for a new phone case and obviously a new pop socket to stick to that. So, da -da -da. oh, we're going from like the bottom up it seems here. This is the Ministry of Alchemy phone grip designed by The Bitter Season. Hold on securely to your phone or e-reader with this phone grip inspired by a master of gin. This it's shiny it's beautiful it's a lot nicer than the phone grips i usually buy what does it say the ministry of alchemy enchantments and supernatural entities here yeah. i think we're having a similar case size of my last lunar crate box where i'm not familiar with it looks like any of the books listed unlike i usually am for owl crates this is like very new very exciting for me i'm getting so many book racks from this video next we have Interesting. In the last box as well, there's also a tea towel. So here we have like another, I think it's an apron on the list. Cinnamon and gingerbread apron designed by Joanne Palmer, who is at Flutter and Fern. A useful kitchen item, this apron featuring many elements from A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking is perfect for all of your baking needs. And it tells you that it's machine washable. So this. <laughs> Okay, I will never use this personally because I hate the feel of this material. It feels it's very similar to like how Amazon Pride flags do. I hate that. But this is a very cute design. I like that it's not doesn't clearly scream fandom. It's like a pretty neutral item, although it is inspired by elements from a book. I love this. I just it's really one of the things like a tea towel that I would just personally never use. But it is very cute. Here we have some bookmarks. Let's learn about the bookmarks first. Light It Up bookmark set designed by Merwild at Merwild and Co. 
featuring many of our favourite characters from Crescent City. The set of five bookmarks will help you keep your place in any book. Love bookmarks, I have so many. I really love when owl creators like the wooden bookmarks, I treasure those deeply. I have none in the gravelable distance from here. I have not read Crescent City and I also do not intend to, but I'll show you. Okay, they're double-sided. These are just like thick, or like thin cardboard thick paper ones. The designs at the back on each side, but you can have a look at these. I have nothing to say about these because I have not read the book and don't hugely want to. I have seen those people who make like video essays of, trying, of them trying to understand the plot, which again is not a selling point for the book, but the fact that it's just so wildly confusing, I guess in similar ways how Pretty Little Lies is complete nonsense, I'm intrigued to watch those specific videos. Next we have a, a cute little book. This is so cute. I'm going to open it before I start talking because it's very crinkly. Okay, so this is The Best Stories Reusable Sticker Book, designed by Jane Tibbetts at Chatty Nora. I remember that name from last time. Store all your stickers in one place with a stunning Fandom Mutual reusable sticker book. What? So it has a lot of like passport stamps all over it. I'll show you the here a little bit closer, a little bit closer. It's bendy. It's a reusable sticker book. It's got lots of blank pages, but it's just like glossy paper material, which I guess would be easy to peel a sticker off. I in a sense, could be practical for all those people who, like like me, who love hoarding stickers but not putting them anywhere. Um, reusable sticker book. Unless Illumicrate is particularly known for giving stickers in boxes, this is kind of like a slight left of field item idea. Like, cute, but kind of random. I believe that is all the items listed on the list. Let's see. Feature book is Voyage of the Dam by Francis White. I'm not going to read you the description. Da, 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 da. Okay, so Illumin Crate Exclusive Edition, which is a signed Royal Harback and features an exclusive cover for embossing on the Harback, digitally printed edges, illustrated end papers, all from the publisher, and bonus content. I think I had a slight reservation with the last Illumin Crate book, which was um, art from the publisher again, and that's just like the same art repeated, I believe. And it was the same cover or cover art as the original, but just in a different colour, which is our Crate behaviour. So let's open this one up. I see it already through here. So like it looks like the same cover art, just a different colour. Yeah, so it's more like a teal and silver rather than like blue, white and gold. I quite like this. Oh, it's like kind of hollow. And I'm just showing myself. It's kind of hollow here. There, rainbow. Ooh, okay, so we have like a navy or dark blue top and bottom to match like the fish head here. And on the side we have is it waves? I believe it's waves. And on the back, oh, I'll show you the side as well. Got all this shot of spine. This is quite chunky. And on the back, it says, We can get murdered tomorrow. Tonight, we party, which is fun. And they put a Lumen Crate exclusive in kind of big writing there. Don't like that. So let's take the jacket off and I'll show you. Let's just keep the vert in our gaze. I'm going to show you the full jacket as well. Here we are. So yeah, it's the same art as the original, it's just different colours, and then rainbow. Okay, beneath the cover we have a lovely navy here. Oh, this kind of looks like a dark green kind of navy on the side. That doesn't quite match the colour on here, but I'll, I'll allow it. Then we have the same fish on here, but is it... I was going to say, is it in full fish form? No. Because there's one on the front cover, this one's also a skeleton. But the one on the cover has like a little boat up here as well. So here we just have the fish. It is rainbow. And then to the inside, which I was like clutching my pearls at, we have a map of the ship. I'm just gonna admire, admire this for a second. That's, that's a good end paper. I also wish more places had just maps as the end papers in general, because like me flicking back and forth to try and find the map pages, because I want to understand what's going on. Nightmare. And let's look at the back. Okay, the back is the back's the same one. The back's the same end paper. That's annoying. And then it is signed. It is signed in silver sharpie to match the silver we have going on on the cover. And then what else was included in this one? Bonus content. What? Okay, I obviously haven't had the original book to know what the bonus content is. Like, is it extra chapters? Is it extra scenes? The dedication of this book is for everyone who has ever entered the room and felt like they did not belong like that. Or is the bonus content... 
Might be just an orphan letter at the start. We have another map here, which is the United Empire of Concordia. I, I don't think I realised this book was like a fantasy that justified a kingdom map. And then again, we have the map of the boat on the inside. And then we have a couple pages with like the crests of the different... Um, I want to say kingdoms, prov province, they're provinces, it says here. Which is fine, does not tell me much, I don't believe. Unless, okay, it looks like every chapter has like a different crest at the top as well. I quite like this, just because how bl this, this, 10 out of 10 stars. This is like carrying this book for me. But also, I am very interested in the plot, and even if it wasn't, in the owl crate box, owl crate box, I mean crate box, even if I end up skipping this box I would almost definitely add this to my TBR and just fawned over it for ages. I don't think I have much else to say about this and this is a pretty straightforward box. Like I love the library stamp because that's something I wanted anyway. I love the phone grip because that's something I wanted anyway. Don't hugely care about the apron or the Crescent City bookmarks just because I don't hugely care about that specific fandom. And then this I can't tell how to feel about a reusable sticker book. I need to I need to test it out and find out. I think I'm gonna continue getting Lumicrate boxes just because I know the February theme, or at least the February book, is to cage a god. I don't know if that's the spoiler for anyone but me, but that book was on my TV the second I found out about it, and I'm very excited for it. So in review, I like this one just because I enjoy this book. The items, fandom-wise and thematically, okay, maybe not thematically, I was going to say they're a bit mismatched, but we have like a travelling boat theme, we have like a travelling passport, we have... I would say it's got compass vibes, but it... maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. I think thematically the items are a bit mismatched, but a lot of them are practical and things I wanted, and beautiful. As much as I get angered by them just recolouring art rather than redesigning it, which is this going to be a theme for a Lumicrate book? Because that was the same for last month. And the only other Lumicrate book I know a lot about is The Drowned Woods, which um, by Emily Lloyd Jones, where they just changed the colours of the UK cover again. So I'm intrigued to see how we continue from here. So thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!